the interior of a conference room where benches and chairs are arranged in the shape of a rectangular letter O or zero. A dark-haired woman, aged about 45 to 50, wearing a black blouse over a black and white dress. On her legs, black tights and patent high heels in the same color. The woman only partially removes her right shoes. He does it either when the right leg is crossed over the left, or when the other is resting on the right leg on the ground. A star has been discovered that rushes through the Milky Way at 4 million kilometers per hour. Astronomers have discovered a star that is hurtling through space at a dizzying speed of up to 4 million kilometers per hour. The star, called PSRJ0002 plus 6216, is one of the fastest stars ever observed. Scientists believe it reached its speed due to a nearby supernova. Most stars gracefully make their way through space, slowly circling the galactic center. But not PSRJ0002 plus 6216 in short called J0002. Astronomers using the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope and the Carl G. Jansky Very Large Array have found that J0002 is hurtling through space at a staggering 4 million kilometers per hour. At that speed, it would take 6 minutes to travel from Earth to the Moon. J0002 is a pulsar, a type of highly magnetized neutron star with an extremely fast rotation rate during which it emits streams of electromagnetic radiation. These are the cause of huge stars that have collapsed. If the radiation beam is directed towards the Earth, we can observe such an object, something like a cosmic lighthouse. Thanks to the narrow tail and the right angle of view, we can trace the history of this pulsar straight to its birthplace, said Frank Schinzel of the National Radio Astronomy Observatory, NIO, in New Mexico. Pulsar J0002 was discovered in 2017. It is located about 6,500 light-years away in the constellation Cassiopeia. O rotates 8.7 times per second, producing a pulse of gamma rays with each rotation. J0002 is about 53 light-years from the center of a supernova remnant called CTB1. Its rapid motion through interstellar gas creates shock waves that produce a tail of magnetic energy and particles. This tail spans 13 light years and clearly marks the center of CTB1. With the data obtained, astronomers were able to measure how fast and in what direction the pulsar was moving. The calculation results seem to support the theory that the pulsar was ejected at high speed by the supernova responsible for CTB1, which occurred about 10,000 years ago. Measuring the pulsar's motion and tracking it backwards shows that it was born from supernova remnants, said astrophysicist Matthew Kerr of the Naval Research Laboratory. Scientists believe that the CTB1 supernova explosion may have been asymmetric, which somehow caused the pulsar to accelerate to enormous speeds. Further study of this object will help us better understand how these explosions are able to kick out neutron stars at such high speeds, Shinzel said. Explosion debris, supernova remnants, originally expanded faster than the pulsar's motion. But millennia of interaction with interstellar gas has slowed this movement. However, this did not stop the pulsar, which behaves like a cannonball. It caught up with and overtook the supernova debris about 5,000 years after the explosion. J0002 is hurtling through space five times faster than the average pulsar. It is faster than 99% of the objects whose speed has been measured and will eventually escape our galaxy. Other neutron stars also reach dizzying speeds.
the fastest of them is the RX J082243000, which rushes through space at a speed of 1,500 km per second. The speed of J0002 is 1,130 km per second. But the average speed of pulsars is about 240 km per second. The research team's results were presented at the American Astronomical Society's High Energy Astrophysics Division meeting in Monterey, California. A paper on J0002 is due to appear soon in the Astrophysical Journal Letters.